Well, hello and welcome. This is Nate, Nate's Manufactured Home Tours. Today we are at uh, Valley Great Homes in Spokane, Washington. We're going to take a look at this huge triple wide. Trust me when I say you're really going to like this one. This one uh, was the first one I saw when I looked at their website to decide I wanted to come over here. And uh, sorry about the traffic. I am right at the corner of two busy intersections here. So sorry if the traffic gets a little bit loud. And on top of that, right as I started filming, that one down there just pulled in. So they're taking delivery of another one to set up. Once again, back to this home. This one is a uh, 27, almost 2800 square foot triple wide. Trust me, when we walk in, I think you'll really like what you see. It's got a lot of upgraded features in it. These homes are all built to uh, specifications that uh, you decide you want. A lot of the things in these homes are customizable. If you haven't already, I'd like that you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to go on down there, hit the notification bell also, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think, what you like, what you don't like. And we'll go ahead, head in here and uh, get this party started. Now, as you can see, being at the intersection of two really busy roads, once you get inside, there's not much noise. So, the first thing we see, got a little coat closet straight ahead. So, this area here, not to, trying to show off too much all at once, but you got these nice shelves on top of everything. It goes all the way around everything in the kitchen. This would be what would be your dining room area. This would be kind of a family room, living room area. Right when you come in there. As you can see, lots of windows in here. For kind of a brief teaser of the kitchen. But as, after you come in through here, there again, there's that closet. This is gonna be your main living room area. Once again, there's that first sliding glass door. You've got a fireplace. TV goes up above. I do believe this is a real wood burning fireplace. I think you can option in gas or probably an electric if you wanted. So again, great big living room area. I know I'm showing you the kitchen kind of in the background there. So I guess we'll head on over to the kitchen, take a look at the kitchen here. And this counter wraps all the way around your kitchen. You got a look, your stove is in your island here. Kind of a different, different place for it. Something you don't see very often. And that little paper you're seeing sitting there is uh, showing you that the new standard in this home is actually a flat top, not the uh, individual burners like that. 
So you got a little see-through little bar area going into your dining room. These homes do come with uh, brand new GE appliances. And if you don't like the colors, I'm sure you can get stainless or you can get uh, the black ones if you wanted to. There over here is going to be your stove and your microwave. Nice quality standard tops or countertops, I should say. Nice high quality countertops. That's what I was trying to say. And got fully adjustable shelves, solid oak cabinets. They went with the light stain on them. But I love these windows all the way around your kitchen. As you can see up above there, you've got that little shelf there. You've got a little shelf there. Got more over here. Again, that shelf just kind of continues all the way through this entire home. These are really high ceilings in here. Really makes this home feel just overly spacious. I love how this kitchen is so unique. I've never seen one like this before. As you can see, it just kind of wraps around. And what do we have in here? Well, looks like we've got a pretty good sized pantry. I can find a light switch here. I'm sure there's a light switch. There we go. Not that the light did a whole lot, but uh, yeah, <clears throat> really nice pantry. Definitely do a lot more when it's dark outside and not a lot of light coming in. I like these uh, different rooms where the dormer was. Not sure what you call those kind of rafter things, but. Uh, Definitely gives a unique look to the home. Again, these are something that things that you don't normally see on your uh, manufactured or modular homes. As you can see, this home is just huge, big layout, a lot of open area. But again, there's those shelves continuing all the way around again. So we'll head into bedroom one here. Once I get a copy of the floor plan, I'll put the uh, bedroom sizes in here. As big as this home is, I'll probably end up putting some of the other sizes and other rooms in here too, like the living room, dining room, that kind of stuff, just so you got a better idea of how big things really are, because it's so wide open, it's hard to tell what size things are. And then we'll come into bedroom number two here. And I'm sure you could probably option in the uh, different doors instead of these slider doors. All right, where were we? I got uh, interrupted, the customer walked in, so I had to pause the video there for a minute. So continuing on down the hallway here, you got your guest bath. You got uh, dual vanity in your guest bath, it's kind, of, kind of nice to see. Dual mirrors. I'd say that counter is as big as what you tend to see in a lot of your standard master bathrooms. One piece, uh, show, one piece shower tub combo. Jeez. And you don't see the toilet because it's back behind your door out of the way. Kind of a different, unique setup for your uh, guest bathroom. I said this home has a lot of different, uh, different things in it. Things you don't normally see. And 
down here past all your bedrooms is going to be your uh, laundry room you do get a sink in here lots of cabinets in your laundry room here again the same cabinets that you've seen in your kitchen everything in here is a solid oak even got room for a stand-up freezer in there let's see if I can get that to come in better here where that window is at making it a little bit difficult but yeah right there's where your washer and dryer would go you got a little coat closet in your laundry room here Kind of different not seeing a back door right here in the laundry room. But since the laundry room faces the front of the home, I'm sure because you've got all those other doors on the back side of the home. And then right across from your laundry room, you've got this other big linen closet here. Now for the best part of this home. So I've got one door open. We'll open up the other one here. Just kind of walk in. Just walking in and you can see this thing is just huge. Big master bedroom here. Oh, we can't go that way. We gotta go this way. Big master bedroom. Up there, you've got his and her closets. I think you can tell which one is which. We'll start over here. This is going to be what I would assume to be his closet. We've got uh, no wire racks in the closets, which is a good thing. Lots of space in there. So over here is going to be her closet. I guess you get a full body picture as I wave to the uh, kid. Those of you that are new here, uh, anytime I catch myself in the mirror, of course that one was kind of intentional. I usually do at least one time intentional, catch myself in the mirror. So I can wave to my kid. He's got a six year old kid. Gets a kick out of me waving to him. I can try to show you this closet here. Pretty good sized closet and if you wanted more Racks, you could always add a second rack. So don't mind all the trim supplies. But obviously this is gonna be her closet with the uh, mirrors on the door. That way she can stand back and check herself out after she gets all dressed. Now back into the uh, second part of the master bedroom. Yeah, you get a, a whole second room here. really get away from the kids and kind of hide out pretty good size what they call master retreat you can set yourself up a couch in here a couple chairs put yourself a TV in here really get away from it all so you've got the uh, sliding glass door over here that uh, is open a little bit here so let me close it just so you can see Shut off this noise so it's a little bit quieter here. There we go. Now you can see just how quiet it is. So now you can get away from it all in here and uh, I think I'd probably end up using this as a video editing room. All right. Well, we got one more room to go yet. I almost forgot. We can't forget this room. Yep, we got double doors again going into your master bathroom. All right, coming into your master bathroom here. Once again, something you don't see very often is this huge 
counter space in your master bathroom. Sitting area for your, for your wife while she's doing her makeup. Got dual vanities and again, just covered in mirrors. Kind of hard to get a shot without getting myself in the mirror on this one. Lots of drawers, plenty of storage in here. You got cabinets over there. There's your water closet. Master tub. They're getting that as a very deep soaker tub. All these tubs in these homes seem to be about knee high. It's a little bit deeper than most. So that is a nice deep tub. Of course, I know that the uh, camera doesn't do the best job of showing how deep it is. And over here is going to be your shower. One thing I've noticed so far in all the homes I've toured over here, none of them are a tile shower. I know that's an option that you can get. I'd like to see one with a tile shower just to see what that looks like. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. So if you like what you've seen, if you like this home, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, let me know what you think. Don't forget to leave a comment below what you like, what you don't like. Once again, this is Nate with Nate's Manufactured Home Tours. Hope you guys have had a really good day, a blessed day, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.